Well, I think uh, Representative Carney gave a very excellent basis in law on which this kind of complaint is, is written. So we, uh, you know, we we don't. Um, it's very disappointing that we have to go and take this step in order to get some answers, and that's that's really the crux of the problem. Many of you know I, I initially supported Jobs Ohio. I thought it was a great idea to try something new to bring jobs to Ohio. And we have to do something. If we don't do something, we're going to have the same old thing. But every day that goes by, new questions arise, and the questions get more and more troubling. As Representative Carney pointed out about the $100,000 tax credit followed quickly by a $10,000 campaign donation. You know, from the very start, that the governor and his friends have blocked at all of our efforts to create transparency at Jobs Ohio. Uh, even stripping the state auditor, the state auditor of his oversight authority. One, it just begs the question, what are they trying to hide? Of course, the Daily day News gave us some information on perhaps what they're trying to hide. Uh, and it does seem that, that no one has any ability or any authority to oversee jobs or land. So the, uh, the Inspector General, General May uh, replied uh, with a claim that it has no oversight of Jobs Ohio as an entity. However, the Inspector General should be able to ins uh, examine those individual members of the board due to the IG's oversight over any individual who conducts business with the state. And the, the, the conflicts that were brought to our attention are extraordinarily concerning. And if they aren't against the law, they probably ought to be. There's no reason that Jobs Ohio and the governor should be able to personally profit off of our tax dollars in this way. And this is a great example of why people are mistrusting government these days. They, they expect us to do the work of the citizens and hold the, the Constitution and the laws of Ohio, but they're not. They're, they're double dealing and they're getting kickbacks. As far as Governor Kasich, um, we believe his deferred compensation is a lot different story than the case that the Ethics Commission reviewed a few years ago. And uh, we're still wondering why the Ethics Commission has not addressed the $10,000 campaign donation, and especially given the small amount of time after the tax credit was allocated. So these are very, very deep concerns that Representative Carney and I share, and we hope the IG office will take our complaint seriously and we'll launch an investigation and we'll hold Jobs Ohio and the governor accountable. It's really all, all that people ever expect any of us to be is accountable to them.